Mad world, mad kings, mad composition. John, to stop Arthur's title in the hull, hath willingly departed with a part. And France, whose armor conscience buckled on, whom zeal and charity brought to the field as God's own soldier, rounded in the ear with that same purpose changer, that sly devil, that broker that still breaks the pate of faith, that daily break vow, he that wins of all, of kings, of beggars, old men, young men, maids, who, having no external thing to lose but the word maid, cheats the poor maid of that, that smooth-faced gentleman, tickling commodity, commodity, the bias of the world, the world who of itself is buys it well, made to run even upon even ground. Till this advantage, this vile drawing bias, this sway of motion, this commodity, makes it take head from all indifferency, from all direction, purpose, course, intent. And this same bias, this commodity, this board, this broker, this old changing word, clapped on the outward eye of fickle France, has drawn him from his own determined aid, from a resolved and honourable war, to a most base and vile concluded peace. And why rail I on this commodity? <laughs> but for because he hath not wooed me yet, not that I have the power to clutch my hand when his fair angels would salute my palm, but for my hand as unattempted yet, like a poor beggar, raileth on the rich. Well, whilst I'm a beggar, I will rail and say there is no sin but to be rich, and being rich, my virtue then shall be to say there is no vice but beggary. Since kings break faith upon commodity, gain, be my lord, for I will worship thee.